Hello, I'm Graham Fitch, and this is my video demonstration on how we learn when we practice. And this complements my article in issue 79 of Pianist magazine. And I'm coming to you from Steinway Hall in London. And I've decided to start with an extremely simple, very basic little minuet that we all played when we, we started to learn, attributed to Bach, and it's from the Anna Magdalena notebook. Now, this can be applied, this principle can be applied to absolutely anything, including Rachmaninoff concertos and Scriabin etudes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take one bar and one note, and I'm going to stop on the note after the bar line, and I'm going to count the remainder of that bar before I go on to the next bar. So I'm dividing up my music into links, like links in a chain. And this is a fantastic process for strengthening those links, and also for learning pieces at the beginning, when we're learning new pieces, a wonderful way of learning. Let me just show you with that minuet. One, two, three. Perhaps I should have shown you the, begin the minuet without the stops. Let me do that first. Now let me go back and put the breaks in. That's one bar and one note, and I'm going to count two, three, before playing the next bar and one note. Two, three, two, two, three. I could leave two bars if I wanted, if I needed a little extra time to think. Let me show, show you that way. and so on. Now that's one bar unit, one bar and one note, because it wouldn't make much sense to stop on the last beat of the bar, the last note of the bar. It doesn't really take us anywhere, so that's why I suggest going over the bar, and then the note that we stopped on is the note that we then start on. Having done one bar units, you can move to uh, two bar units, and then eventually four bars at a time. Let me show you two bars. Three, two, two, three. Two, three, two, two, three. And so on. And then when we get good at that, four bars. Two, three, two, two. You've got the idea, I think. Now that, as I say, we can use for anything, whether it's beginners, advanced, intermediate. Try it out. You'll be very surprised, first of all, how challenging it is, because we all are good at starting at the beginning, or perhaps starting at the beginning of a phrase or a section. But to take an isolated bar from the middle of a phrase and to be able to play it perfectly, you've got to be, you've got to be able to do this perfectly. It's no good just attempting it. It's got to be done really, really well. You'll be surprised at uh, how that strengthens your piece. Very, very good process. Another process I'm going to show you that you can use again for anything, but I'm going to take another example of Bach, which is the C minor prelude from book one of the 48. Uh, let me play you it first uh, in its full glory, just a little bit of it. Just the first few bars. Now this practicing tool I use is called, I call it zigzag practice for want of a more scientific term. What I'm going to do is to play a little bit of the right hand and then play a little bit of the left hand without stopping. So so I played the first half bar right hand and then I carried on the second half bar with just my left hand. Now, of course, we could do that for whole bars if we wanted. Let me show you that. Now, I would suggest, having done it that way round, to go back and do it the other way round. So if you started with your right hand, carry on 
um, alternating right, left, right, left. Then go back and do it again, this time left, right, left, right. By doing this, you're deliberately interrupting the flow in one hand and continuing with the other hand. It's a very, very powerful process for strengthening our motor control and our knowledge of a piece. And again, if you can do that from memory, you can be pretty sure that you'll know your score very deeply. In part two of this process, I'm going to show you other ways that you can troubleshoot difficulties in your practice room, and I look forward to seeing you soon.